Have you ever looked around in old folders on your computer and found ancient pictures that you've forgotten about but really would like to save for the future? This is the video for you. Imagine that you just found this picture and you want more. Well, let's take a look at some PowerShell code that can get you some more. Today I'm going to talk about two custom commandlets I've created to help you find these old pictures and get them all into one folder so that you can easily put it on Google Drive or Dropbox or wherever you want to keep them. First of all, we have get files with type. What this commandlet does is it will start at the start directory and loop for each file in it. It will check if this file matches any of the file extensions in file types, which is to say that in our case, we want to see if any of the files is a JPEG, a PNG, or any other picture extension. And if that is true, we will return the full name, which is the path and the name of the file. If that's not the case, we will do a second check and see if this file is a directory. And if that is the case, we will call this command again, but with a new directory as, a, as the start directory, and we will add one to the directory level. In the end, the result from this commandlet will be an array with full paths to all of the files that we found with the right file extensions. So if we take a look at the main function, what I do right here is I decide upon what start directory I want, and I will use get child item to get an array with all of the files in that start directory. And then I decide upon which file types are we looking for right here. There's a plethora of file types out there, but I've decided upon three of the most common ones. Okay, so let's take a look at what happens if I run this code right now. Looks fine. And there we have it, the paths to all of the found files in our start directory. But that's not all we want to do. We want to use the location of all these files and copy the items to a single folder that we easily can export. That's where the copy files in list command that comes in. Let's see what happens if we run this once more with this, with this command let not out commented. And now we have all the pictures right here in the folder. Great. So what does copy files in list do? Well, it takes the path to a text file, which is assumed to have the format of one full path per row and the output path as in the place where we want to copy all of the items that we found in the text file. And it's very simple. It will loop through all of the paths found in the text file. It will extract the file name and then it will copy the item to our output path with the same file name as it originally had. And that's pretty much it. But what's interesting about this program is that let's say you want to find old Excel files or old Word documents. Well, simply change the extensions in the file types array and that will work just fine.